Good evening, everybody. This is Chief Meteorologist Andrew Panero with a tropical update. Haven't had one of those in a while. So let's talk about it. We have Tropical Storm Aaron that formed just a couple days ago. As of today is now Hurricane Aaron, the first hurricane in the Atlantic Basin for the 2025 hurricane season. And this is going to be quite an interesting one because it also looks like it's going to be a very strong one. So I'll put up here the latest track and observations from the National Hurricane Center. So it looks like we're going to be seeing a Category 4. That is the potential here. And that track where it goes major. So major hurricane is a 3, 4, or 5 because it's the majority of the way up the Saffir Simpson scale, which goes up to five. So once it gets to category three, it becomes a major hurricane, but there's some forecast models that we're looking at that show that central pressure and show that strength getting up to a category four. So that's impressive for the first hurricane of the season. Now, if you also notice on this, it looks like it's gonna be a storm for the fishes. It looks like it's just going to really hit Bermuda. So if you're in Bermuda, keep an eye on this system, but not really anywhere along the East Coast. Now, why is that? Because it looks like the track of this is just going to follow the subtropical high and that steering force is too far east or east, whatever your perspective is. So too far east, meaning it's going to curve or recurve northward sooner rather than later. And because of that northward turn sooner rather than later, that means it's going to stay out to sea from the perspective of the United States. Now, this is something I've actually been workshopping and actually typing up a research paper on using Puerto Rico as kind of like a checkpoint for where the storms are going to be. And if you've watched my live streams, I've mentioned this before. If we use Puerto Rico as that checkpoint, if the center of the tropical system passes right over Puerto Rico, that means its curvature is in line with an East Coast US hit. If it passes south of Puerto Rico, that means it's more on a straight line path, meaning the subtropical high is stronger. So it's gonna be more of a Gulf of Mexico kind of hit. If it passes north of Puerto Rico, like Aaron is doing right now, that means it's gonna curve north sooner and go out to sea and not have a direct impact on the United States. So that's the theory. And that's actually, that last part is what Aaron is doing right now. So what does it mean for the United States? Not direct impacts, as I mentioned. What it will mean is very rough waters. Even 200 miles away from the storm, you could still feel very strong waves if you go out into the ocean along the eastern seaboard. So right around the New York City area where we have that kind of triangle, you got to be very cautious there because you have water moving north and then it got nowhere to go so it starts to turn east and then you have water coming in this way so you got that little choke point so that's where you have to watch the rip currents so the rip currents look like they're going to be very strong and also just waves the swells some of the models out there are showing swells of six to nine foot if you're a surfer and you love that kind of stuff, this might be for you. It's very dangerous unless you're a trained professional. I definitely don't recommend that, but uh, that's what we're really going to see. So we could see this later into the weekend through the beginning of the week, these really choppy waters with rip current risks. So that's what we have to look out for with Hurricane Aaron. Does that mean? This is going to be an active hurricane season, not just from this one storm. We, that's one data point. You really can't draw any conclusions from that. But the outlook says there is, I believe they said the National Hurricane Center, a 60, somewhere in the 60% chance of an above average uh, hurricane season. 
Now, we are on E, from A to E, and this is the first hurricane. So that means we've had some systems already that had names. None of them were real significant enough to become a hurricane. So, we shall see if the outlook from the National Hurricane Center holds true. And that's going to be a quick wrap for this tropical update. My first, I believe, tropical update of 2025. I'll have to check the records again. But I think this is the first one. Just because we haven't really had anything to talk about until now. Now, I will definitely keep an eye on the traffic, uh, traffic, the tropics for all of you through hurricane season because now the peak of hurricane season we're starting to get that upward trend if you picture the bell curve we're on the upward slope so being on the upward slope means that, that we're going to be nearing peak soon typically peak is around september 10th and then after that it starts getting lower and then it ends really october so i'll keep you all updated Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your evening. I'll have other weather forecasts for what our weather is going to look like in the Northeast coming up this weekend with my weekend outlook. All right, everybody. This is Chief Meteorologist Andrew Pinero. Stay safe out there. Hit that subscribe button below and a little bell icon right next to that so you get notified whenever I upload videos like this or I go live. Again, this is Chief Meteorologist Andrew Pinero. Stay safe out there and I'll see you all in the next video.